Steinwinter is a German automotive company based in Stuttgart, whose operations began in 1969. While the company currently specializes in producing custom vehicles, during the 1970s and 1980s, they developed a concept for a transport truck where the cabin was located under the trailer, similar to what we see today in airport ground support equipment. Known as the Supercargo 2040 Cab Under, it featured a cabin based on a Mercedes-Benz chassis with dimensions of approximately 6.5 meters in length and 1.17 meters in height, just 15 centimeters taller than a Ford GT40. In terms of the mechanical aspect, it was equipped with a Mercedes engine producing 400 horsepower and 2,100 newton meters of torque, although its design allowed for the installation of any available engine. Thanks to its design, it could transport larger loads without violating transportation laws, ensuring economic benefits ranging from 20 to 50 percent. Furthermore, it was conceived as a modular solution, capable of operating as a conventional trailer truck, an articulated train truck, and even as a tourist bus, among other applications. Despite all the advantages it offered, its negatives were much more pronounced. It had extremely limited visibility, a strong tendency to understeer, and suffered from overheating issues, which significantly reduced its durability. Sadly, investors withdrew their financing, and Mercedes-Benz also withdrew its support, putting an end to a truck that died before revolutionizing the transportation industry. While the cab under design aimed to revolutionize the way goods are transported using trailers, this concept was also adapted for those needing to move special and oversized loads. An example of this is the creation of a unit known as the Schnibbelmobile, which was built by the German company Colonia for Vau Aluminum, specifically designed for transporting steel and aluminum profiles ranging from 30 to 55 meters in length. Although the construction started with an MAN F8 unit, the transportation requirements meant that the standard cabin was not suitable. The solution to this was the installation of the body of a 1981 Ford Grenada Tournier station wagon onto the truck's chassis. Since the truck had suffered damage to its front bumper, the company reconstructed it using the front end of a Mercedes-Benz TN207 van, giving it that unusual appearance. In terms of technical specifications, it was equipped with a 420 horsepower turbo diesel engine, which proved sufficient for its effective operation. However, one thing to consider is that due to its design, the cabin was mostly suspended in the air, causing constant vertical movement that could make drivers feel nauseous. Nevertheless, this did not prevent the vehicle, also known as the Colonia Crocodile, from remaining in operation for two decades, transporting enormous loads of aluminum. This unique truck traveled over 800,000 kilometers, with one of its main routes being the legendary German Autobahn. Following the invention of containers in the mid-1950s, the transportation industry revolutionized the way goods were moved. This sparked the interest of the German heavy vehicle manufacturer Bussing, who initiated the creation of a truck that could easily transport one or more containers at once. Known as the Supercargo 22150 Decklaster, 
This truck was a pioneer in the concept of a cabin located beneath a loading platform. Its design consisted of a loading platform measuring 10.3 meters in length, which sat at a height of just 1.5 meters, offering a carrying capacity of up to 22 tons. To position the cabin beneath the platform and in front of the front axles, a unique 150 horsepower engine was chosen, which was placed horizontally between the chassis with all its cylinders on the same side to simplify maintenance. A prototype model was used for display at German auto shows in 1964 and for demonstrations to potential customers. It is said that at one point, Volkswagen showed interest in the project, leading to the production of an experimental batch consisting of 50 units. However, although not entirely clear, the project seems to have ended as a letter of intent. Due to the production costs exceeding those of conventional trucks, combined with the fact that containerization was not yet standardized at that time, the supercargo remained merely a prototype ceasing production just before the busing company was acquired by MAN. This same trend of specialized trucks had a significant impact in the United States, where the real goal was to bypass length restrictions on heavy-duty transport trucks. It was in 1977 when the Strick Corporation introduced its version of a cab under truck. Their initial prototypes were constructed from international trucks, retaining some features such as the Cummins VT903 engine with 320 horsepower. After subjecting the first version with a reduced cabin to nearly 10,000 kilometers of use on test tracks, a second prototype was built, which featured an additional front axle allowing it to increase its payload to the federal limit of 36.2 tons. Unfortunately, this truck did not receive the expected reception, in part due to opposition from the American Teamsters Trucking Union, which labeled this unit as highly unsafe. Although the cabin was equipped with a roll cage, and various analyses concluded that the structure was rigid and couldn't bend, one of the main problems was its height, which provided poor visibility, especially in rainy or snowy conditions. It's important to mention that, while this model never entered mass production, it played a crucial role in influencing transportation assistance laws, leading to the removal of maximum total length restrictions on trucks with trailers. This also directly impacted the cab over truck models of the time. Undoubtedly, Tatra has been one of the foremost leaders in the design and development of ultra-powerful trucks for all kinds of heavy-duty tasks. This reputation has made it a consistent choice for companies that require vehicles capable of navigating extremely rugged terrain while also transporting heavy or oversized loads. An example of this is the truck developed by the company Gerhard Friedrich which also operates as their German dealer for a customer in need of transporting oversized materials, such as 18-meter-long pipes. The requirements for this special unit included having a reduced overall height, excellent maneuverability, and, above all, a minimum carrying capacity of 45 tons while maintaining a maximum speed of 25 kilometers per hour. The outcome was the creation of a truck known as the Alienus 66300 with a total length of 13.7 meters, a width of 2.5 meters, and a height that barely reaches 2 meters. The unit has a total weight of around 15 tons, providing it with a load capacity of up to 50 tons. It is powered by a Tatra T3C diesel engine, capable of generating 402 horsepower and 2,100 newton meters of torque. To address the issue of maneuverability, steering axles were installed on the first, second, fifth, and sixth axles, resulting in a truck with a 12x6 chassis configuration. Additionally, this unit features special supports that keep the pipes stable at all times. Thank you so much for sticking around until the end of the video. 
We hope you enjoyed it and found it valuable. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. We can't wait to see you in the next one.